This is a Marmon Harrington. We don't know what year it is. It was built during World War II. So maybe 1942, 43, 1944, somewhere in that range. It's at least 10 years older than me. And it's an amazing old truck. This thing was used to uh, clear runways on uh, landing strips in snowy areas. It has two engines, one here at the back behind those doors, and of course one under the hood. And you say, what are those two engines for? Well, the front engine uh, has a drive shaft that goes back that drives the wheels. And uh, the rear engine has a drive shaft that goes through and drives this huge blower. And you can see that's where the snow uh, gets thrown out. And that's, boy, that's a, that's, a big, that's a big cavity that it comes out of and a big turbine that spins. There are three augers. Um, they measure approximately five feet in height with these blades going up to about seven feet. So it can cut snow up to seven feet. The wonderful thing about this truck is it's all wheel drive and it's all wheel steering, which is very unusual. So these front wheels steer and these rear wheels steer. You can uh, turn the truck around in a very short turning radius. We live in a beautiful area here in Idaho, but we sometimes get really dumped on where we live. We're on top of a mountain. As you can see, we live in the tops of these mountains and we get quite a bit of snow and quite a bit of wind. And so we get drifted in quite often. On the inside of the truck, just to give you a quick tour of that, there's a, this is the steering mechanism for the rear wheels. You push down, it goes to the left. You push, pull out, it goes to the right. And of course the steering wheel for the front, just like any engine, the, old, the dash panel has a start button you can actually select whether the fuel indicator will tell you if your wheels are straight uh, to the right or to the left but you navigate quite a bit of that using the uh, the mirror and watching the rear view mirror it has positive rear drive which is that it has a, a, a five speed uh, transmission and uh, you can also go into high gear and low gear using this this is what engages the uh, augers. And that, you pull that in and, and that uh, brings them in. This is all the gauges for the rear engine, tachometer, oil pressure, alternator, and the uh, water temperature. These are the, the gauges for the front engine. Same water temperature, speedometer, tachometer, amps, fuel, temperature, and oil pressure. It has uh, two uh, windshield wipers and uh, and a heater which is kind of nice and uh, <coughs> boy this thing really throws snow these two levers right here this one raises and lowers the blower unit so that if you go down into a, a little gully you can lift it up and this one uh, moves your uh, blower direction from left to right I'm gonna give it just a quick tour of how you actually start these two engines and drive this truck so the first thing that you do is um, turn on the key for the engine, uh, the front engine, which is the truck engine. Make sure you're out of gear. And uh, if it's warm, you don't need to choke it, but the choke is right here if you do. And then the start button is right there. Oops, I'm actually in gear. <laughs> there, I wasn't quite out of gear. It starts and runs very, good, very well. This uh, here will like a gas pedal but it's up on the dash so that you don't have to keep your foot on the gas all the time you can lock it into a certain uh, rpm and it will drive so turn that engine off now the rear engine you have to turn on the battery and you have to lock in the uh, override for the oil pressure and then hit the start button and uh, because it's warm it starts real well to get throttle out of that you turn this knob to the left Eventually, you'll see the RPMs increase on the engine. I run this engine somewhere between 2,000 and 2,500 RPM. Now, with the engine uh, running, you can move the uh, snow direction so that if you're in the wind or if you want to put it on the left or right side of the road, you can raise and lower the uh, auger unit. And to uh, slow it down, you just push that 
center button and it drops the RPMs back down to an idle. And it turned off the engine right there. Now, uh, the, the rear wheels actually work based on the, on the uh, front engine. So they run off a hydraulic system on the front. So we'll start this again. Now, uh, with that running, those rear wheels will move. Okay, that's pretty much the, the quick tutorial for the driving of the Marmon Harrington. Well, this one looks like when it tears into that wall, that is taller than I am. I don't think that, that you really appreciate how much snow that thing's moving. This is what it looks like without the uh, snow going through it. It's just an amazing machine. This uh, Marmon Harrington was built during World War II to clear runways in uh, snowy areas. And boy, does it clear the snow. That's incredible. That's our driveway. We have to keep it clear. That's our house right up there.